What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Uh, this is about Dying Light for sure, guys. And it's happy January 26th to all you guys, too, guys. And uh, January 26th is a very special day, of course, too, because one day before the Dying Light one year di anniversary of dying light the uh, dying light and stuff and there we're coming close to less than uh less than two weeks actually for dying light the following to come out guys um if you guys are wondering where the heck i am actually i'm in the glitch right now i'm in the uh, antenna map and stuff you're wondering where the heck i was and it looked like i was on a mountain like in dying light the following um no, I'm not, actually. I didn't get a preview build, I'm sorry. Dang, I really want to play those freaking preview builds, man. They look so freaking fun. I am really jealous, guys, whoever you guys are to get the preview builds. I know that Colossal Kiwi, um, John the Chief, you guys got the preview builds and stuff, but this video is not really about preview builds, about the Dying Light the following, actually. Oh, yeah, one more thing, too. The Dying Light, um... The Dying Light uh, Nightmare Mode has been uh, revealed on its YouTube channel, actually. What? Uh, go check it out on the Dying Light YouTube channel um, in its in the description. Just go to Dying Light. I think it has 75,000 YouTube... Uh, 75,000 subscribers, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah. Um, I got explosive arrows. Yeah, if you guys see that. And um, this is about how much firearms are gonna be in maybe dying light dying light the following or whatever um dying light um dying light the following looks like it might have like a lot of guns and stuff and that looks pretty cool we saw a bunch of people with the weapons and stuff we haven't really seen too too much of the um the uh the tech nine i've noticed but we n but there is definitely more shotguns there's definitely more than uh, one new shotgun in Dying Light the following, if you guys do not know, actually. Um, I've seen some YouTubers actually post some of it, and I will be showing you some of them on screen and stuff right after this one. I just need to tell you more more and stuff, too. So, yeah. Dying Light the following. Uh, yeah, I really can't wait to play it. It's going to be amazing. So, so far we know that there's um, a new revolver in Dying Light, which is really cool. Um, but it's not like the, it's not going to be like the, what do you call that? The one from, uh, the one from Dead Island. It's not the, uh, it's not the Magnum, guys. It's one from Call of War, so all the way back from the Wild West, which the Call of War games was made by Techland too. I actually really like their series. I used to really love, or actually I don't, I, it's not that I used to, I still like their series, but I have to say that, um, my favorite one is Call of War is Bound in Blood. I played the C Cartel. I found it okay, but it got some really bad reviews. And, um, so yeah, Dying Light the following. Uh, we're, we're gonna pop up some stuff on screen right after this. Uh, so yeah. Um, so, yep. And, of course, there's new bow, of course. New bow, not just the Bozak bow. It's a wooden bow. It looks like what the natives would use. And, um... There's not just that too, there is a brand new, um, there's a, and of course, a brand new crossbow, everybody knows that, it's been revealed, like, all the way back at, uh, uh during August and stuff, when the following was first, uh, announced, uh, so yeah, um, we'll get into some screenshots, guys, alright, let's get some screenshots up, and videos of some stuff. So guys, here's one of the, the locations where the revolver is actually, like the new, uh, it's called the Ranger Revolver, guys. So starting first with the revolver, of course, too. Um, that's called the Ranger, guys. And uh, this person right here, he's just uh, doing some stuff. And here we are, there's the revolver he's using. Apparently it uses over 500, five, it does over 500 damage, actually. So it's pretty good. Um, John the Chief actually told everyone, he said that, um, that he prefers it over the, the other, um, the other guns, like the German and the American, which I, I would personally say yes to, actually, to that. Definitely, that is the most obvious thing ever. Look, and it, and it apparently does mostly one hits to all the walkers, and maybe some virals, 
aka runners fresh turned um, so yeah that's what I'll do so if, if you look at it it looks pretty cool yep so yeah guys we can basically be Rick Grimes now kind of actually in Dying Light so we can basically ish but not fully so if we would have had the um, the Magnum revolver we would have been Rick and also it reloads just like um, just like uh, what who's gun from uh, it, re it reloads like the Call of War S series that's what it does I'm fumbling over myself all right we're gonna go to the next gun so guys here's one of the newer shotguns actually and of course those are the freaks and stuff that you fight of course which are really crazy freak fight guys it's a chemical spill that mutates one of the one of the crazy um infected so that's like a infected goon or like a mutated goon like bigger than than a demolisher actually like the normal demolisher itself it's pretty crazy actually guys holy crap so yeah this shotgun actually does a, a hell of a lot of damage actually against walkers so we don't have to deal with um the uh what do you call that other shotgun it's the um double barrel shotgun which a double barrel shotgun actually really made people mad actually a lot of people said this is not barely even a shotgun the pistols do more damage actually yeah even to the head actually you sh it takes like maybe like three or four hits to kill a viral with the, like the with like the double barrel shotgun and it really does suck sometimes because like at first at release January 27th throughout a couple months and stuff the um apparently it was too overpowered that's the thing that kind of disappointed me that Teclan did with the shotgun but other than that Teclan does a really good job actually at making dying light they actually do a good really good job like I don't know why the um I do not know how or why the um Double barrel shotgun actually got lowered down because they say it's too overpowered, or apparently it was too overpowered. Maybe in the enhancement update they might bring back up the damage of it, because that was just a little too, you know, made it useless actually, the, the shotgun. Basically, all it would do is basically, it's maybe you would call it a little more better version of the anti godoid gun actually, like a little more useful version of the anti godoid gun. But look at that guys. It does so much damage, it actually and see one hit to the head guys, it's crazy. I love that I love the noise that it makes too when you pump it back. Oh yeah, and uh, John the Chief will be very happy once he 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 um gets his definitely his hands on this. He probably has but probably hasn't made a video on it but he's made a video about the revolver guys go check out uh, John the Chief's channel it's J-O-N-T-H-E-C-H-I-E-F I'm probably gonna put in like the the top uh, Dying Light YouTubers um, channels down in the description for you guys so you can go subscribe to them actually because they are um, they definitely got some good stuff for you guys too if you guys don't know them just, just saying but you got most of you guys probably do know them they're definitely they're, you guys are definitely more probably know them more actually so it's uh, dying light uh, dying light youtubers it's John the chief Vizo cams um, colossal Kiwi spider games and and uh, oh yeah and he doesn't he's not on console and uh, slender Dan actually he does a lot of um uh, custom maps on the PC actually he plays a lot of uh, the evil within on there too he plays a bunch of games he's actually a pretty funny guy like he's pretty generous or something too he was more than willing to maybe give me a shout out or something if you see this video to um to uh, um, uh, slender Dan I'm saying hello to you or Vizo cams hello pretty much yeah if you guys see it thank you all right so that wraps up the shotgun guys and let's move on to the next shotgun actually this one the next shotgun was actually revealed earlier but yeah let's see a little cool kills oh nice kill shotgun shoot to the head bam oh yeah and there's one of the new weapons actually too so there 
Alright guys, so one of the newer shotguns also too actually, it's not a pump action shotgun, it looks like a pump action shotgun. This one was actually shown first, so um, people thought it was going to be the pump action, but it was actually a burst auto, auto burst, boom 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 boom, boom do, 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 like that. Um, it doesn't look like it does as much um, damage as the hunting shotgun, I, I would say, but the hunting shotgun, oh, it was pretty interesting guys. So, yeah, also... That's it about that shotgun, actually, so, yeah, there's not too much to talk about for that shotgun. I don't know, actually, if, uh, if it's stronger, I think, I don't know, this is pre, this is, like, their little alpha, I think, version of it, actually, for Dying Light the Following, that the developers are doing, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's its shotgun. So, guys, here's the Flea SMG, which is aka the Uzi, actually, and the Uzi is crazy in it. I noticed that there's been actually more ammo you can actually hold in Dying Light now, actually, because now we're, of course, we get to use firearms more in the following, and aka pretty much Dying Light itself, actually. We can also carry these weapons also to the slums and Old Town and the Antenna map, actually. That's what I, I, I like to not forget about that one, too, because that's part of the open world, too. Oh, don't worry about that right up in the corner of the thing, actually. But, guys, um, so yeah, this, this, this actually is really aggressive and stuff, that gun. And also, there's a compass, composite, uh, composite, or whatever, composite, I can't, I can't read very well sometimes. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, but, um, the composite, um, 9mm pistol, it looks a little bit better. I think it's, uh, I think it, uh, has a little brighter grip, actually, I don't know that might be the enhancements or something that makes it look a little better within the lighting or something but it looks kind of like it shoots a little bit faster than the original um, uh, 9mm pistol though but yeah it's pretty cool actually guys but, and yeah of course we see a lot of the we're gonna be seeing a lot of the revolver and stuff because of how awesome it is it's pretty awesome so um, let's move on to the next Alright guys, actually, um, this is the first time we've kind of seen the Tech 9 in action, actually, guys. Um, we haven't really seen it. I know Colossal Kiwi had it in his inventory, actually, in one of his recent videos, but he didn't use it, though. I noticed, but yeah, so here we are. We're about to see it right here. If you see right there, this is what it looks like, guys. It's actually pretty cool. Um... So that's how it looks like when it reloads. It's like one of those guns that they use from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, it's the gangster guns that you do, do, do drive-bys with. I'm guaranteeing it probably do really well, actually. Really well, actually, with the, um, with the being on the back of the Doom Buggy and shooting, actually. It probably will do pretty well because it's meant to be like a drive-by weapon, so that's probably why they're showing in this. And this is Survive the Nightmare Enhancements uh, highlight number three, actually, guys. So this is the video for the Nightmare Mode. This is the only video they actually kind of showed it in. I don't even know if anybody else even showed it on YouTube. I tried looking, actually, because I'm looking for a lot of Dying Light the following stuff to maybe try and cover. Um, also, too, I think they did not show all their... Their new weapons actually in the um in this preview build demo that people are playing actually so if they're not if they didn't show at all oh I'd be very happy well of course if it's a preview build of course they can't show everything just like we can't go around the whole entire map but the demo area I heard is pretty big though so that means the final products gonna be probably pretty huge and there's been a I've seen a lot of different locations people have been, been at in the following, the following in the demo. So yeah, it's pretty freaking cool, guys. Um, um, also, um, what I'm also trying to say too is that, uh, I think that they want us, they wanted to surprise us actually about the, what do you call that, this, this SMG or something. I think they probably put it in some really hidden area, so that's probably why people couldn't really find it or put it on YouTube, the um, Tech 9. I think they want people to take a while to find it, find some of their weapons, because um, I think there's more weapons coming to the game. They want people to um, 
they really want people to be surprised with these new weapons actually guys I am actually going to be very happy if they actually put um more weapons like more 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 guns actually a lot of people have been requesting for like a silence gun and a sniper an RPG grenade launcher a lot of people requested that especially with the um would it be really cool with the sniper guys if we would be able to um, quick scope with the sniper that would be actually pretty cool quick scope and zombies new PvP mode that comes out quick scope our uh, our friends do a li make a little bandit type mode actually we do so team versus team 2v2 whatever I don't even know if they're gonna add in like a, a more players to play actually than if they were gonna make PvP modes of course that'd be better than 2v2 actually or 1v1 v1 v1 four times pretty much uh, they it'd be better actually if they they, um, they release like a game mode like an eight player an eight player thing so a 4v4 that'd be pretty cool some stuff yeah so 4v4 bandits versus other bandits and stuff too so you're gonna be fighting over antizen or something that would be really cool so you gotta go f see what team grabs the most antizen like um like uh capture the flag so you gotta go look for the most so like a plane comes by at the beginning of the match drops a, a airdrop you gotta go get them and then when you're fighting of course guns going off explosions shooting at each other pretty much walking dead style um then after um you gotta be aware also too if you're gonna be shooting at people also too, is making a lot of gun sound effects so you gotta watch out for virals at the same time so AI virals and stuff watch out for virals and then be careful go hide in the corner make sure you're hiding yeah and then the viral actually but but then again too what would be really cool is that the viral these virals and stuff will actually get you out of um, cover sometimes so I think dying light will be actually pretty cool with PvP it's not like Call of Duty because everybody's gonna be sitting and camping all the time of course in Call of Duty the virals will, will force you out of camping that's what's really good about it it's just like be the zombie PvP so guys let's see I think I think I've covered all the weapons I don't even know yet um, I think so uh, pretty much I think I did actually let me think One more weapon actually guys, one more weapon, I'm sorry. So guys, last but not least actually, this is the brand new, let me see, uh, advanced police rifle actually guys, and I don't see much of a difference between the advanced police rifle than the the um, the original police rifle. It kind of, maybe it does a little more damage, I don't know, but it, I know it has a little more of a different color to it or something. It's not like... It has more of a green to it. It looks okay-ish. It doesn't look really much difference to it, so guys, yeah. Oh yeah, and then also one more thing I need to point out also too. With the, um, oh actually, that one nice shot in the head, that was actually pretty cool. But, um, um, uh, man, man, I can't talk actually, guys. Okay, uh, the, um, newest... The newest crossbow, guys. Of course, the new crossbow coming to Dying Light. The following, we we also get like I think new elements, of course, with the with it also too. We can actually shoot stink actually at at our enemies and it makes our enemies throw up or something. It's actually pretty cool. It, we also get explosive, I think, too. That's what it is, and pretty much. And so yeah, I think that wraps up my video, guys. Um. So if you guys liked what I did and stuff, I'm sorry if I was a little, you know, stuttering and stuff. That's what I do sometimes. I try not to. I have a little bit of a speech problem sometimes, guys. That's my thing, but I will more than try to, you know, de develop good content for you guys, of course, too. I just want to point this out to you guys so you make a video of all the new guns that are in it. It's, some of it was too long I don't know all right but I will I will see you guys again soon and happy dying light one year anniversary for tomorrow I think I might make a video on dying light tomorrow actually too so thank you very much guys you guys you guys um, subscribe if you want dying light content because dying light is my thing I play dying light I sometimes I yeah I play with John the chief I play with uh, Vizo cams. I wanna play with them, um, with 
Colossal Kiwi though, I think he'll be pretty cool to play with. He actually sounds like a pretty funny guy, too. Yeah. What is up all you buggy list bastards? <laughs> that was pretty funny. So yeah. See you guys later.